Hi great 10 students, so in this video we are going to do a balance sheet that is going to prepare you to write a September test or the final examination uh, which is written October. So please make sure that you watch until the end so that you're going to learn something which is very very simple that you didn't know. Okay, firstly we are going to do a two notes which is um, owner's equity and the other one is trading uh, and other creditors and lastly we're going to do what we call a balance sheet or statement of financial position okay with me here i took one of the question from our study guide guys so if you want to purchase a, a study guide make sure that you contact us it's only 100 rand a soft copy so that you can get questions like this one so that you can prepare yourself all right uh, let's go through the required part Prepare the following notes to the financial statement. Number one, owner's equity, four marks. Number two is trade and other payable, 18 marks. Okay, and the balance sheet, it was only 10 marks because most of the things we have done it under the notes. Okay, this question contained 36 marks and you are given only 29 minutes. Okay, now let's start with these two notes. Let's go to the information. Okay, information. Uh, they said Baba Dillas extract of post closing trial balance on 28 February 2018. Our year is ending 28 February 2018. Okay, and uh, we have given a balance sheet account section. We have a loan, consumable store on hand, debtors control, accrued income, accrued expense, prepaid expense, income received in advance, overdraft, and creditors control. You must know which one fall here, which one fall here. And which one goes directly to the balance sheet? You must know all that. Okay, now let's start. Let's start with these two notes. Uh, a very simple one, which is owner's equity. The first one, we call it owner's owner's equity. Okay, guys, this note format you need to make sure that you know it with your all heart, because otherwise. Uh, you're going to complicate things guys we need to start by the balance at the beginning we go to net profit for the year additional capital drawings and balance at the end okay now uh, if you know this format it's going to be very simple for you because you will just check on the additional information do we have net profit for the year? you just record do we have additional capital you record drawings just like that okay normally balance at the beginning is usually given but in other case you will find that it's not given it will be given as capital okay now let's check on this case uh, if you check uh, on our trial balance we don't have it okay so what we had on our answer book they give us balance at the end which is this one Okay, this one, don't worry about it. It was there on your answer book. As you know that in accounting, they provide answer book. Okay, this was given. But this one, it was not given. We have to calculate it. In other question papers, if you check other videos, you will find that this was given and this was not given. I'm going to teach you how to calculate it. Okay, now let's check uh, the other transaction. Number one, the net profit calculated in the income statement it was 397 695 this one we just copy it as it is there is no opening brackets and do calculation in grade 10 okay it's gonna be 397 and 695 all right it will be given like this now let's check if we have additional information and the drawings okay number two the owner increases capital contribution during the year by 70,000. Additional contribution. Very simple. The owner contributed additional capital and is going to increase. But drawings, guys, it must have a negative because he's withdrawing and take it outside the business. That's why it has a negative. Negative indicate a minus. Okay, let's check. Number three. The owner withdrew 25,000 during the financial year. But guys, this one of drawings usually start here because sometimes you will find that on your trial balance 
it is given which means that you must take the one that is given plus 25,000 of additional information then it's gonna give you a total of 25,000 because in this case we were not given the other one on the trial balance okay now because we have this all balances we want this one we have to calculate this balance as a balancing figure how you take this one because now we are doing a reverse we must change this sign you take this one you said plus because this one is negative the rest which is positive you must make them a negative which means that you're going to say 638 plus 25 minus 70 minus 397 which is going to give you amount of 195.68 so if you take this one plus this one plus this one minus this one it must give you this one that's how you confirm so this note uh, it was containing only a format in this case but but in other question papers you will find that they give 10 15 so it depends on the province and the question paper on the specific time okay now let's go to the next one okay the next one is trading other tables guys uh, before i forgot we are almost at 1 million view so in order for us to pre uh, to celebrate this 1 million view we want you guys to send a clip of a video uh, which you are just going to say congratulations accounting solution sa for reaching 1 million views maybe you can just mention your name and your school or maybe a province but make sure that your video does not exceed a 10 second okay please make sure that you do that and send me a short video clip on whatsapp you can do it with your friend at school or you can do it at home anywhere okay just make sure that you do that so that on the next video that we are going to upload we are going to upload those clips as well so that you can see yourself as well on this youtube channel and please make sure that you send before 15th of august 2024 okay before 15th of august if you watch this video after 15th of august guys uh, don't send it we will already close every, everything okay now let's proceed to this notes trading other people okay you must know the format first we start with trade creators accrued expense income received in advance pay as you earn, pension fund medical aid unemployment insurance fund creator salaries okay now uh, we have to work out this all item very simple because now if you know you, you have this format you are just going to check the transaction related to it and you record okay uh, let's check on the trial uh, balance first okay we have creators control which we have to open a balance and say 23400 and accrued expense we have it okay but for this one we don't have any other adjustment in this case so we're just gonna write them accrued income received in advance 4700 okay then you pay as you earn pension fund and those other things let me check quick okay this one we are going to face them under additional adjustment number six okay yes number six okay jay smith joined baba dealers on 1 february 2018 and uh, they say the finance department left him out for february payroll by mistake and the detail of his salary are as follow gross salary it was 15000 deduction we have pay as you earn pension fund medical aid and uif that's what we need to record here but we have to make sure that when we record those deduction we also have to include contribution okay let's check the information of contribution the business also contribute toward the pension fund 7.5 of gross salary and medical aid for every one run the business contribute 150 and uif is uh, on rent rent basis 
This is what you need to do first. You open brackets for three of them. And you first copy the one of deduction. Pay as you earn. Okay. Pay as you earn is only one. Because uh, the employer does not contribute any further for this one. Pension fund is 1,500. And medical aid is 2,000. And UIF. Okay. Okay, UIF. Uh, UIF is how much? It's 150. Okay, now let's read the translation. Okay. The translation said uh, the pension fund of 7,5. The, the, the employer contributes 7,5% of gross. Gross is 15,000. We're going to say 15,000. Multiply by 7,5 over 100. And we're going to get a amount of plus 1,125. You add a deduction with contribution. And you're going to get 2,625. And medical aid. Okay, let's read first. They said... Medical aid for one rand, the business contribute 150. You just multiply the one that we have, 2000, multiply by what the employer contribute, one rand 50, and it's gonna give you 3000, which means that this side we're gonna get uh, 5000. Okay, and the UIF they said on rent to rent basis, rent to rent basis. Um, let me rub here. Rent on rent basis simply means that they are going to contribute the same amount that uh, the employee contributed, which means that it's going to be the same. 150 plus 150, which is going to give us 300. Okay. Then uh, the last one, we have to go back to trade creditors. Trade creditors. Uh, we have additional information number four. The data with credit balance of 900 should be transferred to creditors. So in other words, the data who owe us, we now owe him 900. Which means that it, it must be added 900 and it's going to give us 24,300. Okay, if we add everything here. Uh, how many of them? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay. We also have creditors for salaries. Creditors for salary is a net salary of employee who were not paid. The one that we were reading under additional information number 6. Okay. They said Jim... J. Smith joined Baba Dila on 1 February and the Department of Finance left him out. He was not paid. So creditors for salary, we owe this employee amount of 7,850. Okay. And now we have to add them, all of them. Then it's going to give us 50,575. Just like that. Alright. Moving to the next one now. We have to go to the balance sheet guys for those who want to attend our extra class they are still available only 100 rand per subject if you want to attend accounting economics business mathematics or mathematical literacy all of them they are available only 100 rand per month per subject make sure that you join so that you can learn with other students as well okay now let's go to the balance sheet okay the balance sheet remember we already drafted the notes of owner's equity and trade and other payable, which means that we can start with those balance. Owner's equity, we got amount of 6. We just take this one. Uh, as it is, 638, 325. And trade and other payable, we record it as 50,575. We just record it as it is. Okay, which means that now we're left with current portion of a loan, being overdraft. And the other loan because balance it they said we need to prepare equity and liability section only okay now let's check 
uh, the issue of loan. Number five, the, the following relate to loan from B Bank. Uh, they said the balance, it was 60,000 and the repayment include interest, it was 21 and interest is 7,000. And the balance at the end, it was not given. And we have to start with it uh, here, the balance at the end. Then we subtract what? Current portion of a loan and we put it here. Okay, how do we calculate the balance at the end? It's very simple. 60,000 minus 21 plus 7,000. Okay, let me show the calculation here. You say 60,000 minus repayment plus interest. Why plus interest? Interest increase liability. Repayment decrease liability. That's why we subtract. Okay. Then it's going to give you amount of 46,000. Okay. Now let's read the transaction 5 again. The payment of 14,000 will be made during next financial year on the loan. This is repayment that is going to be paid within 12 months, which means that it must come out here and go away in a short term because it's no longer long term. Here, non-current, we put long term, current, short term. Minus 14,000, we put it here. 14,000, which means that this side we're going to left with amount of 32,000. Okay. And then uh, the last one that we left with is bank overdraft. Okay, if you check on our table, we have bank overdraft of 29,000. There is no any other transaction in this case. Okay, which means that after that, you just need to add all current liability and you get total here of 93. 575 here it will be 32,000 here it will be the same 638 325 okay this is total equity then if you add all of them they are going to give you 763,900 very simple and straightforward that's how you compile a balance sheet as well as the notes i hope you will learn something guys please those who want to send a video please don't forget to do it as early as possible so that you can be part of those who will be uploaded on our upcoming video for 1 million view not subscribers guys 1 million views i'm gonna see you on the next one